I bought a, a Danco Spray Raider a year ago. Um, and it started getting clogged up. The, there was enough grit built up behind the spring to impede the water flow. And there was no real clear way on how to how to get to that spring to clean it out. So I wound up doing some disassembly um, here, which didn't really reveal any um, anything of all that helpful. So I mucked around with it and mucked around with it and finally discovered that there is a retaining ring right around the lip here that holds the spring in place. And I was able to do this with my fingers. I'm going to try it with these uh, little tweezers here. No, that's not working. Let's try it. Well, it wasn't difficult the first time. It's giving me trouble this time for some reason. Sorry for that. Ah, okay. So, uh, there really wasn't a very elegant way of, of removing this retaining ring. But the way it fits in here, of course, it fits right in through here. And it, the retaining ring is, is notched. It, like kind of, It's kind of ribbed along the... Um, the top edge here. I don't know if you can see that. So those, when you reassemble it, those those rings come toward you, as in like so. So at this point, the screen is is not held in by anything. Um, I had to um, get a little brush and clean the holes out of the screen here, and I also ran this back part under um oh here under cold water and flushed it out and then to reassemble uh just do do, do the thing backwards drop the spring in push this retaining ring in i guess it wasn't necessary to take this off but I did because I wanted to make sure there was nothing under it, so I gave this a good, a good wash too, um, a good flush. So once it's screwed back together, and watch out for the watch out for the washers. There are um, there are some washers in here, like so. Um, make sure you don't lose one. There's one in here. And on my unit, since I'm using uh, the female thread adapter, um, there's also a washer inside there. Right there, like so. So, um... Okay, naturally I didn't take any before footage, but I can show you the after. Uh, once the unit is back on the faucet beautifully aerated there's like no obstruction any longer and then something else I found out this thing has a push pull setting to alternate between spray and uh, just stream so uh, again I wish I'd known that a year ago but I plan to take advantage of it now so sorry for the crappy video but uh, I would have found that helpful a couple of hours ago, and I hope someone else does too.